So very recently, Adobe launched a new Photoshop CC 2019 and here I've got my hands on one. Actually, this is a trial version. So I'm using it for seven days. So I'm going to explore it and then we're going to explore it together. And here are some of the features that you need to know. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So this is Photoshop CC 2019. And then we're going to talk about some of the features that you need to know. And some of them are mind blowing. So without any further ado, let's start from the basics. Okay, so right here, I have a new document created. Now, this is the first update that I want to talk to you about. It is the home button and then switching back to a project now as you can see i have a new project over here the previous versions of photoshop you can't go back unless otherwise you start a new document so over here you can go to the home button of course and then you can create a new document and then open and then you have the recent projects that you opened also and if you want to switch back to what you were working on you just use this button over here and then boom you are back Number two, the most controversial thing that I was finding very weird in Photoshop has been worked on, and that is undo. Most softwares use Ctrl Command plus Z to undo, but unfortunately, Adobe was using Ctrl Alt and then Z. Here, they fixed that. So if you press Ctrl or Command Z, it just gets you back, and then you are good to go. So it can work on multiple times. With the previous versions, it was only working with, I think, one or twice, but this time around, it works multiple times so undo is now control or command plus it a new feature has been added to the cc 2019 that is the frame over here the frame is basically like a clip masking in previous versions of photoshop now if you choose the frame over here you basically can draw the frame around this place like that let's, let's assume like here and then when you import a picture say this over here you drag it over this place and that it fits just exactly into the frame too so you have it fits as you want it it's basically like the clip masking in photoshop in the previous versions another thing that has been added to this that i'm super excited about is this now if you drag a picture in photoshop in previous versions basically i'm going to talk about two things now the other the first one is you probably would have to hold shift and then alt if you've been watching my videos i mostly say this that you hold shift and then alt before you can drag this time around you don't need that you just have to the proportion of resizing an image has been definite like you can you can scale it anyhow you want it without holding anything so it works for test and other steps so you don't need any shift or alt before you scale a particular image and the next one that is working for almost everything else that is test and other stuff is that before then you have to go and tick over here or you have to go and check the move to that is to indicate that you are done but right now you just bring your cursor outside of the box and anywhere you take you are good to go isn't that cool now let's talk about test okay so if you pick the test tool right now in photoshop cc 2019 you can actually get a sample of what you want to actually write before even you get to the point so over here i don't know how this is pronounced but then over here it provides you with this that you can actually refer so you can set your font family and then the font type and then the colors to see how your test is actually going to look before you start typing and then like i i was saying earlier before then you have to go and check here and all that place before you can go to the next one but then right now you click anywhere outside the box and then you are good to go additionally if you are on the move tool or if you are on any other tool probably the move tool and then you double click on the test you can actually edit it straight away that wasn't in the previous versions of photoshop also let's assume that we have this over here alignment in photoshop in cc has become very cool for instance if you duplicate this and then you drag it somewhere over here now if i try to align this on the same line with the one i duplicated it from 
over there so i can basically see that these two are on the same line now let's add another duplicate to this and drag it somewhere over here so we you can see that they are all vertically aligned but then the spacing is not even before then you cannot actually give it or you cannot distribute it very equally but then right now if you select all these three by holding the shift and then you select the rest and then you go to layer distribute and then you're going to distribute vertically so basically this the space from here to that place is the same and from here to that place is also the same isn't that cool another feature that i'm super excited about is the new content we're aware now with the old content aware we all understood or we knew basically that you can actually get rid of this using any of like the patch tool or something like that but here the new content aware you just need to make a selection of where you don't want now let's make a selection around over here so what you do is go to edit and then you go to content aware fill okay right over right there so what you're going to do is that photoshop actually is giving you the option to select from where you want to select your sample source so if you see over here this place we don't want to sample it right so we are going to get rid of all these areas that means that where we are cleansing or where we are cleaning we don't actually want photoshop to sample from there okay so we can get rid of all the roofs and stuff so we basically telling photoshop that it should sample from around this area and then when you are done you can either output it on a new layer on the current layer or you can duplicate it and that is as a matter of choice so let's try and see if you duplicate or we put it on a new layer and then we click ok so if you turn the new layer off you're probably going to see this and then if you turn it back on you have this isn't that a cool feature also the next update that i would want to talk about is basically the color wheel over here that is what we've been seeing the previous ones are these color wheels and probably these ones but then if you go to windows and then you go to color over here you're going to you can be able to turn this off and then if you go to windows back and then you turn the color off you are going to have this now if you come to this portion of it and then you left click on it you have different things over there and the most new one or the updated one is the color wheel so you can have this color wheel over here and then if you don't want this one you can actually choose from these options what you really want to use and if you don't want it at all you can just close it over here or you go to windows and then you turn the color off i hope this one is also new and cool so another new feature of this is the math this is simple mathematics that you can do in photoshop now if you have this size of your image and then you go to image and then image size and then you want to divide this particular image by let's say three or so all that you need to do is you bring your division sign and then by three and then when you click ok there you have it so the actual image size that you're having has been divided into three for you as simple as that let's assume you have let's say a gradient on this and then you want the gradient to be uh, let's say you want to divide the gradient to three all that you need to do is that you divide that by three and then you have this and that one is also simple right but unfortunately you can only do simple mathematics like multiplication and then division addition in photoshop not calculus and then integration and that stuff lastly and the most beautiful update in photoshop currently is the new butterfly or how do i even call it now if you pick the brush tool over here over here you can have this butterfly option for painting now if you click on it you can select any one of them but i'm going for let's say the mandala right so you decide on how many segments you want or yes so i'm going to pick six and then when you click ok it's great six seg segments for you right so you are going to just click over here and then you have your segments click now if you start brushing let's say you start brushing this is what you have and then you can send this over like that smoothly like that it depends on how you want it if you don't want the color you just come over here and then you can change the color and then you start brushing from this area it goes just like that and then you can draw so many great stuffs with this 
I'm really artistic over here. Are you not sure of that? All right, so that's it. Those are all the features or basically the features that I'll be able to provide for you right now since I'm using probably the trial version. Maybe when I get the full version, I'll talk to you more about Photoshop CC. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll get back to you with another video. It's Innocent here. Bye.